This is going to definitely be a test. Look at this here. We're doing some shrimp and grits. And I mean, these are going to be some awesome, flavorful shrimp and grits. Y'all come on here now. Don't go nowhere. You're going to miss this. All right. So what I'm using here is some Moss Yellow Grits. I love Moss's products. I swear to God, I do, y'all. But these yellow grits is off the chain. So I'm going to use two portions of these. I'm going to, to add at least around about three-fourths cups of grits one of these portions can feed two people but i'm going with two portions of this okay because i'm going to take some to my next door navel as well so with this here i'm going to add six cups of water so this two four six yes that's six cups of water you heard me right so i'm turning my heat right now on high because i want to bring this to a boil along with the grits and the water then i'm going to add at least two tablespoons of butter this is um unsalted butter please use unsalted butter don't use that margarine and then i'm adding in some salt along with that um, i'm going to sprinkle in some black pepper all right and what i want to do now is just basically give this a nice little stir and one thing about these grits is you're going to have to constantly watch these grits you're going to have to constantly stir these grits because you don't want to burn them at the bottom so now I'm going to bring down my heat to low because we're going to let these um, simmer on the um, stove where we're going to let them cook on low on the stove. And the cook time is going to be for 20 minutes. I'm letting these cook for 20 minutes and I'm going to stir constantly. Now, while my grits are cooking, I got me a cast iron um, Dutch pot here and I'm putting in some olive oil because we want to go ahead and brown up these here smoked sausages. They're not smoked sausages, but these are andouille smoked sausages okay bacon smoked andouille smoked sausages i'm telling you you're gonna love this here y'all if you want to try to 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 use beef smoked sausages be my guest um i'm using pork andouille sausages i guarantee you you're gonna love this you can go either way beef or pork so i just want to brown these babies up and once I got them all browned up, you know what's going to happen next once your sausages is browned to the way you like them. Yes, that's right. You're going to move these babies to the side. So I'm going to take these out of the um, Dutch oven and um, go ahead and, man, and, and get, ne get ready for the next ingredients. All right, right here I have one bell pepper sliced, one onion sliced, and two stalks of celery sliced. All right, so you're going to need these. This is what they call the Trinity, bell pepper, onion, and the celery. So I just want to go ahead and sweat these babies out. I don't want to try to cook them fully, but just get them to where they're translucent. All right, so that's all you want to do. And once they're translucent and they're cooked, um, you want to go ahead and just take them on out of the, um, out of the pot. Now we're going to go ahead and add some olive oil um, to this cast iron pot and then we're going to go ahead and get ready to cook up our shrimp. Now we don't want to totally cook these shrimp, alright? So I want you to go ahead and do this here. Um, turn your pot down to low and go ahead and start seasoning up your shrimp. I have some blackened seasoning. This here yummy. Taste of New Orleans. Man, you got to try these guys. They're on Instagram. I'm going to leave a link below for you guys if you want to try this here product out i guarantee you you won't be disappointed and then i have some of this here weber's um garlic jalapeno seasoning and now i want you to just go ahead and just start mixing everything together but remember don't fully cook these shrimp if they're still raw that's fine once you've got them um to the point to where you got um a nice little cook on them just go ahead and start taking them out of the pot you know what i'm saying don't fully cook your shrimp trust me when i tell you if they're raw fine take them out of that pot that's all you want to do is get that seasoning on them coat it on them well 
and let them cook for at least around about one minute. One minute. Y'all listen to me. One minute. Okay? Don't fully cook your shrimp. I'll show you the process at the end. All right. So now what we're going to do is we got us a container of chicken broth. I want you to take half of that container, pour it into that cast iron pot. And don't you clean that pot. Don't you, don't you no way know how clean that pot. Now let's season it up with some roasted garlic and red bell pepper seasoning. Y'all know I like some Ross. Ross is the boss. This is where I buy my seasonings at. Some of these seasonings from, um, from Ross. And this is a couple of the collections that I love from Ross. All right. So with that added, I got some of this here garlic and onion um, table blend, seasoning blend. You're going to love this stuff too. Now I got me some um, onion powder to go with this as well. You're going to love this stuff. You're going to love the whole daggone com combination of seasonings that we're going to cook these shrimp and grits in. I swear to God you are. So we got some minced garlic. If you want to use fresh garlic, be my guest. Um, but I always think that the jar garlic is still easier to do. But just use as much garlic as you want. You be the judge of how much garlic you want in your shrimp and grits. All right? So I like a lot of garlic in mine, as you can tell. So now I have some Cajun seasoning. Remember, this will not be salty at all. We're going to use just a little bit of Cajun seasoning. It will not be salty, trust and believe me. Just for a little heat, for a little heat, I got some of this here jarred, diced jalapenos. Okay? We're just going to add one tablespoon to this here dish. One tablespoon. If you wanted to jazz it up or heat it up a little bit more, go for two, but I'm going for one. Then I have some coarse black pepper. And yes, you know I love that Nora's chicken flavoring. Just one tablespoon of this. That's all you're going to need. Just one tablespoon. All right? And from there, y'all, let's go ahead, man, and don't forget this. This is the star ingredients right here. The roux. R-O-U-X. We're taking two three big tablespoons of this here roux three tablespoons of this here roux i keep telling y'all the video is coming i promise you i promise you the video is going to drop next i promise you that because y'all got to make some of this roux how can y'all make these dishes if you don't know what kind of roux or how to fix that roux to put to make these dishes with so i'm going to show you exactly what i'm gonna do so when we got the three tablespoons of roux in what i want you to do it's just mix it up until that roux dissolves. Once your roux has dissolved, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get to get busy with this. So now with our roux being dissolved inside this here broth, we're gonna go ahead and take our andouille sausage, our pork andouille sausage, and take our bell peppers, the onions and the celery, which is the trinity, add it to the pot, and we just want to mix everything up, okay? Now, what I want you to do now with that extra, with that extra chicken broth that you have, I want you to go ahead and add it to the pot as well. We're gonna use that whole container, all right? And I'll tell you what to do next. Now I want you to go ahead and crank that heat up. What we're gonna do now is bring our pot to a boil. We want to reduce the level of this here fluid. Once your fluid has cooked down a bit, then we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step as well. But before we're gonna do that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to this here pot. Just add two tablespoons of butter. Let it come to a boil, all right? Once it comes to a boil, then we're going to go to the next process.
We're almost at the finish line. Our juices has reduced. Now the next thing that we want to do, y'all, this, this is a very important step. All we have to do is just cut off the stove. <laughs> That's all we had to do is just cut the stove off. Now, with our shrimp that, shrimp that has been missing sitting in the background, we want to take our shrimp and we just want to add it to the pot. Yes, add it to the pot. This is the reason why we didn't let our cook our shrimp cook all the way because we're going to allow it to cook right at the end. Even with the pot off, the shrimp is going to continue to cook. That way we don't get no tough and rubbery shrimp, but it's still going to be flavorful all the way through now we got us some chopped fresh green parsley you could use dried parsley if you want to with this here too it'll, it'll definitely work all right so we got our parsley in the only thing we want to do is stir this parsley in and the next thing we've got to do after stirring this parsley in we got to serve ourselves up a plate i'm telling y'all man if you try this recipe it'll definitely definitely make you happy because I'm already happy right now. You understand what I'm saying? This your boy Ray Mack and I love y'all. I want to thank y'all so much for watching this here video. If you can, please click on my picture like right now and you can automatically subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. Thank y'all so much. My mama told me never beg, but please leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Love and not hate. Love you guys.